This unit is our STEO1 DRU01. This is a battery hydraulic lift stacker unit fitted with a manual drum rotator head. The rotator head can fit lots of different types of drums. So it'll do drums all the way from small 50 litre drums all the way up to 200 litre steels or plastics. First thing we're going to do is going to push the unit forward so the band assembly goes around the mid position of the drum. Ensure that the brakes are released. You have two brakes at the back of the unit, so ensure they're released. We we'll wheel the unit forward. The arms at the front of the unit can slide left and right, so as you push it in, they'll automatically pull in. We can check the band is fitting nice and snugly around the drum. Then we have this stainless steel ratchet and ratchet strap. We take this off the securing pin, bring it around the front and connect it to the door. Right, the next thing you can see down here, this is the stainless ratchet assembly. Now, as the strap comes through, you should hold this in your right hand and pull the slack out. Then we ratchet it nice and tight. and then it parks out of the way. It's important we keep this in our hand to ensure that the strap goes through the ratchet nice and straight and doesn't get caught in the teeth. The next thing is the rim clamp here. This rim clamp is mainly used on plastic drums but it is worth using on the steel drums. This connects to the top of the drum and you've got various holes in the side here so we can adjust the height of this and the catch here is adjustable again for different ty types of drums. So we simply bring this in underneath the lip, hold it into the lip, and then spin down the lock nut. So we can see here, it's underneath the lip, it's over the top, and it's nice and secure. We're now ready to lift. If your floor has got any slope on at all, it's worth putting the brakes on before you lift the drum. On the back panel, I'll show you a close-up of the back panel later so you can see the controls. But we have an on key and we have an emergency stop and we're ready to lift. Make sure no one is in front of the unit before we press the lift button. I can release the brakes to the back. At the back of the unit here, we have this tiller handle, which gives us rear wheel steering. This allows the unit to be very easy to maneuver around. If you can imagine the weight of this unit plus the weight of the drum, if I just pull on the handle, it moves very, very easily. I'll spin the unit around now so you can see the other side. This is the gearbox, it's obviously doing the rotation. You have a fold out gearbox handle, so we can fold that out. And as we turn the handle, we're tipping the drum. You can see the drum weighs, say, about 216 kilos, it's very easy to do. We actually manufacture these with power rotation, so you can just press a button on the back panel to rotate the drums. Again, you can pull on this handle here and just fold the handle in, keeps it out of the way. We can press lower on the panel. Again, before we press lift or lower, ensure no one is forward of this position. We then release the ratchet. Unhook the D-ring, hold up the toggle clamp, and 
and then you can push the arm away so it's not gripping the drum anymore. Release your brakes and pull the unit away from the drum. What I'll do now is I'll change drums over and I'll show you how you adjust it for smaller size drums. I'm going to show you now how to adjust the band section for this smaller Mauser drum. So the arms will move in and out and we can also take segments out of the band here. We can actually move these pins to a smaller position which means the circumference is smaller. So we have 205 litre drum is the biggest one moving down to 180 sometimes around about the 80 depending on the diameter moving all the way down to a 50 litre. The first thing we need to do is get yourself a little bit of space so we move an arm in so just slide one of the arms in then we come to the front of the unit ensure that the unit's switched off and no one's going to interfere with it while we're actually making the connection. So what we do now is we hold on to this section and we remove the two pins. So these are two R pins that lock, lock the band. What we do then is we just move this to the next position. So holding it together so we've moved it one step shorter into this position and we then refit the R pins. That's it now, the back band is ready to take the smaller size drum. We're now going to push the unit into this drum here. Put the brakes on again. You can see here the band is a little bit high, so we'll just lower him down a touch, so we're in the middle, power the unit up again, just lower the unit down, power off. We then connect our ratchet strap to the front door, pull out the slack, tighten the ratchet. Next thing to do is adjust the rim clamp. And normally, obviously, with this style of drum, we'd be removing the lid because this unit will pick all the drums up with or without the lid. So we want to change the height of the rim clamp. We take a pin out, lower it down to the correct position. Spin the lock nut, holding it together, that secures the drum. This rim clamp here stops the band sliding the drum, it stops the drum sliding out of the band when it's in the inverted position. Power up the unit again. Ensure no one is forward of this position and press the lift button. Again, unfold the gearbox handle and tip the drum. The unit operates so easily that it looks like the drums are empty, but they're all actually full. I'll now show you a close-up of the control panel. We're now looking at the control panel for the unit. First thing to notice is the emergency stop button. Press this down, all function will stop. To reset this, pull up. Next one is the power key. Power key can be taken out 
When the power key is taken out, you cannot operate the, any of the controls. Place the power key in, turn clockwise to the on position. The battery condition meter here shows us, I can read it here, see that the battery is fully charged. It's good to keep the unit fully charged and the charging connector is on the right hand side of the panel box here of this control box. Then in the middle here we have the up and down controls so if we press up let your finger off it'll stop and press down carriage goes down and stop. When you're not using the unit it's a good practice to switch off the power key this means we're not consuming any of the power from the battery if it's left for any length of time.